yeah, obviously enjoying the chance to play for Australia. Obviously, uh, every kid's dream to, to put on the Australian kit and uh, walk out at the MCG. So, no, just uh, loving every minute at the moment, yeah. What about tonight at the, at the G? I mean, the pressure was on too, I mean, before the rain break. Things were a bit of a struggle, but you kicked on afterwards. Yeah, obviously, as I said, at the MCG, uh, with a good crowd, a really loud crowd, um, it was obviously a lot of fun. So, uh, hopefully... Continue some good form, obviously a uh, good performance from the team as well, so um, hopefully uh, go to Perth and do the same thing. Right. Has it been a noticeable step up in international cricket? Yeah, absolutely. The intensity. When Mike Hussey walked out and started running between the wickets like he was, there was definitely a, a step up in intensity. I think that's the major thing. Um, everything's just a bit faster and uh, you have to run with Mike, it's uh, even harder. Were you expecting a better fight from India? Oh, I think at India are always tough. Obviously, with the players they've got, they're gonna they're gonna play some really good cricket. So I mean, it wasn't an easy win by any stretch of the imagination. We had to work hard to get it. Still, obviously, they bowled exceptionally well. I thought in the first ten to to twelve overs, and then we got away from it a little bit. But uh, um, it's never an easy game against India with the with the quality of players they have. No, I haven't. I think I, I think that'd be a bad option for myself, to be honest. Obviously, we want to. I just want to do as well as I can in the, in the three games that I'm picked. If I look too far ahead, you don't know what's going to happen. It's a, it's a pretty fickle game that we play. So um, from from day to day, it changes. So you just got to live in the moment and uh, concentrate on the next ball. It's pretty uh, cliche, but that's uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Back, uh, were you uh, conscious of the rain around, and when it did come down, did it change? Yeah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't uh, conscious of the rain at all. No, so obviously when Ricky got out, it got exceptionally dark out there, and the lights came on. So I knew it wasn't good, but I it didn't. I didn't really think too much about it. So when we came off, obviously we got uh, the result, re revised uh, overs and stuff like that, and we uh, tried another plan out to, to get a competitive score, which we managed to do. Roger, did you uh, you hit that six and four? Was that was that knowing that the break was going to come, or sort of it's, it's sort of one quickly followed the other? Yeah, not at all. I didn't. And it wasn't planned at all. I, um, he was bowling really well. I just tried to mix my mix his length up a little bit. I batted out of my crease a little bit for the for the ball that I managed to hit for six, and then I went back. So I was just trying to mix my feet around the crease because they were bowling an exceptional length. There was no drives really on offer or any cuts or anything to to go by. So I had to try and mix it up a little bit. And just after Friday night, it was a really good comeback win from you guys. What was the focus after that game? Uh, we didn't speak a lot about obviously the 2020 game. 2020 is a, a different game than the 50 overs. So no, we just concentrated on what we can control. Obviously, before we went out to field, we just wanted to keep our energy up and 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 really uh, put the heat on India, I suppose. So um, they were the things we were concentrating on. We weren't we weren't really looking back at the 2020. We uh, debriefed that and uh, moved on. Uh, 16, uh, 217 in 32 overs when you were walking back to the dressing room, uh, you were convinced that this is good enough for sport to win this match. And how was the pitch to back off? Uh, uh, it was tough, as I said, for the first 10 to 11 overs. I thought maybe the rain got a little bit of shine on the wicket and, and it came on a little bit better after the break, obviously. Um, India, not knowing the rain, they bowled a lot of overs through their quicks early. So, uh, no, walking off, I didn't know whether it was a competitive score. You never know against... Uh, a team like India, so I mean, Dave Hussey and Mike Hussey batted exceptionally well. They went well over a run a ball, and that's always going to help you. Um, you talk about your batting, but uh, you're keeping a couple of good catches today, and a really good one in 2020. Are you keeping as well as you've ever had? Before? Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm keeping as well as I ever had. Obviously, uh, to be in the environment of the Australian cricket team, I'm catching more balls every day, and and things are going really well. So yeah, um, yeah, I feel I feel on top of my game. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned before about not thinking. I think the environment that, that I'm in, it's all about the next game uh, in the Australian cricket team, obviously. Um, no one's talking about down the track, everyone's just going to be focusing on the next game. All our planning, all our meetings, all the stuff we do is for the pretty much the next game that we're going to play. So I think it's easy to, to concentrate on the next thing that's coming up instead of looking a long way forward. No one speaks about um, tours down the track in the change rooms, it's just all about what we can do in the present moment.